All right, what's what's up, YouTube? Welcome to part two of my entire uh, World Paper Money collection. I'm going to start with these big notes here because they're ginormous. I've showed you guys this one. It's a really cool uh, Russian 500 ruble note. So here's another. Uh, sorry, this is a Polish one, 1941 dated. 100 zlotek. Really crisp note, crisp condition. This is a Chinese World War II dated note, 1943. I was informed uh, in the comments by someone who said that this was uh, actually released by Japan. So it's like uh, military issued currency, which is even more cooler. It's 500 yuan. Sorry for all the glare that's going on. It's kind of sunny here, so skylights in my room and they uh, reflect off the plastic sheets. So this is 500 yuan Chinese. And this is another Russian note. 1898 dated. Again, not necessarily released or um, issued or made at that time, but that's when these types of bills were first issued. I mean, this could this could be an 1898 example, or it could be like 1910s and 1920s. But either way, it's a cool note. Here's the back. It's a really nice uh, coat of arms. I'll go to these ones here. I've shown you guys my Cypress one before, so I won't spend too much time on it. It's 1941 dated. I didn't buy it for 35 bucks, I got it for like 15. It's a nice note. Scottish pound, 1969. Very nice condition. Ever since the EU and so forth, you don't see a lot of these uh, around anymore, so it's a really nice note to have. Now this one is an 1898 dated 100 mark. I got it for uh, 25 bucks. So this one's 1898 dated as well. Uh, again, not necessarily released at that time, but it's a really nice note. I mean, these things are huge, so it's uh, it's quite cool. It's a red seals on it, I like the back, makes it look very archaic. It's a nice note. These look similar. They're just different dates. This one's a 1908. 100 mark red seal. Here's the back, it's a little nicer, not so many creases. This one's uh, another one, 1905. I like the design on these, it's, uh, it's a really cool note. You can see in the background the eagle. A lot of signatures. It's just overall very nice design, I really like these notes. This one's a German, again, 1922. It's very cool. This one's 50,000 marks, so when hyperinflation was going on. Now these I showed you guys in a separate video. I'll show them again because I just want to do a complete video sort of thing. But uh, I'll start with the new notes, actually. I got some new ones because I went to uh, Ghana. So I got these notes here, kind of just in the, in the currency. I'll show you this one because it's a really nice one. They actually uh, barely evaded hyperinflation. The government kind of owned up to printing too much money, and so in order to stop it, they kind of just uh, revitalized the currency. So it's, uh, it was good on them because now the inflation's kind of getting back in control. This one's 2013. It's two cities. These are just uh, some more bills. This one's a one city. And one thing that's interesting about Ghana currency is if you look at the photos on the front, it's the same people. Usually uh, countries on with their currency, they change the photos up, but uh, it's the same. The only one that's different is for the two. But otherwise it's the same because I saw 50s and 100s as well and they're, they're the same. 
So here, uh, this is basically when I was younger, I'd just go to currency converters and I'd just get a new one, trade in like a dollar Canadian, two dollar Canadian, and get just get different currencies. So that's basically how I got these here. So that's just Mexico, 20 pesos, Chile, 1,000, Argentina. What's the date? I've actually never really checked the dates on these. Try to see if I can find a date somewhere. I can't find a date, but I'm pretty sure they're they're fairly modern. Here's uh, from the Dominican Republic. That says 2009. Fiji. It was actually really awkward when I'd go up to ask for them because they wouldn't understand, or they couldn't understand why. I want a different currency, but you know, it's just a, it's a nice way to collect. Uh, I just like having variety of paper money. I love always like collecting it, so kind of just avoided the awkwardness whenever I was at the counter. 1999 one yuan, from China. Two dollars from Singapore. It's from the UK or Britain or England, whatever you want to call it. Ten pounds. That's Darwin on the back. This is a pretty nice note as well. Malaysia. United States. This Brazil one I put in because this one's actually older. My uh, dad kind of gave it to me, so, so I've kept it like this. It's a little special. This one's from Thailand. India. Um, so this is South Korea, so this one's the older one that they would have, and the guy was nice and just threw in this one as well. Uh, so, yeah, I got lucky with this because I didn't really have to pay extra, although, because it was only like maybe 50 cents more, so. Yeah, the guy was nice, he gave me this, uh, this old one as well. It's Costa Rica. Canada. So this is from the Czech Republic. Now when I went to Europe, I guess I just I picked up another 20. Euro. And these ones are from the Barbados, and they're actually really old. And this is because my mother went to the Barbados when she was younger. And I think it was in the 80s or so, so these should be dated around that time period. Um... I don't know, sometimes it's really hard to find dates. Sometimes they're not even dated, so. I'm trying to find it. I can't I can't really find it right now. One sec, let me look on another one. Well anyway, she went through in the nineteen eighties, so sometime in the nineteen eighties or earlier. These are the Barbados currency, and I think that about covers it. That's my entire world paper money collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all these, uh, all the videos that I have of the of my paper money. I really pride myself in it. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Thanks for watching.